27 minutes of uncut NHL 22 gameplay, and we're going to break it all down here. Big thanks to the EA Creator Network for making this video possible. If you missed it, EA dropped the bomb and finally gave us what we've been asking for all along with the gameplay trailer probably should have been it's full uncut gameplay now i know some of you guys probably don't have time or don't want to watch the full video so i'm going to give you the short and sweet version all of the features and the new animations that we see in this new video without further ado let's get into this thing the first thing that you'll notice is of course the graphics with the updated frostbite engine to be honest the graphics actually do look good in the gameplay trailer that we saw last month it looked a little rough around the edges you could say it looked very similar to NHL 21, but seeing this uncut gameplay, it's nice to see those little details added in. You can definitely see the graphic upgrades when it comes to the cutscenes, the celebrations, and the new AR. I've personally never been a huge graphics guy. I'm more so focused on the gameplay, but of course, it's good to see that we are heading in the right direction here on the next generation consoles. Now let's go ahead and dive into the actual gameplay. And the first thing that I want to address is probably the biggest complaint from all of NHL 21 last year, and that is the passing and the cross crease goals. To say the least, last year was very frustrating. I remember the first week that the game came out, I posted a tweet about cross crease goals, about how overpowered they were, and it never changed throughout the entire year. When you look at cross crease goals, it's a combination of two things, right? The first one being the intercepts, and this year they have made massive progress when it comes to that. Quite a few different intercept animations have been added to the game, so as the puck comes across the middle, it's not simply an intercept or a puck gets through. There's one-handed breakups, you can poke the puck away, you can go down to a knee and collect it with your skate. There's endless possibilities on how you can pick up the puck in this entire video you really only see two clear cross crease goals for the most part pucks are simply not making it through the middle of the ice when you're playing an actual hockey game you can't just force pucks through four bodies in front now the one exception that i'm curious to see more of is the x factor so if you look at a guy like dry sidle he's got the tape to tape x factor that gets you that auto sauce which has been removed from the game by the way most players not going to have the ability to automatically sauce the puck which is nice but those with certain x factors will be able to do that and will also be able to find those small spots on the ice to force those passes through so will that be overpowered that remains to be seen overall i'm pretty happy with how the passing looks in this gameplay if you guys had the chance to play the beta it is very tough so the passes and the accuracy of the passes are determined on how you make them for example if you make a behind the back no look pass that one's going to go nowhere near where you're aiming. Whereas if you make a tape to tape, you're holding it in front of you, direct pass, that is more likely to go well. During the beta, I did notice some issues with receiving the puck. So pucks would come to your stick and just bounce away, even when it was right on the tape. But in this gameplay, it looks like that has been fixed. At least they didn't show any of that. But of course, EA is cherry picking the gameplay. So we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, let's talk about new animations in the game. Now, we already mentioned the intercepts, the puck pickups. Those are a little bit different. But I think some of the biggest changes that you'll see is in the shot blocking, the tips and deflections in front of the net, and the puck protection. My personal favorites are some of these shot blocks. These look like absolute madness. So they added in physics where if you are moving full speed, then you lay out into the dive to block a shot. Your body actually goes with you. The momentum goes with you. And then getting back up and going up the ice. Along with that, you also have different variations of shot blocks. So it's not just going out to the full dive animation. You can also go down to one knees. Sometimes you go down to two knees. Depending on the situations, different shot blocks come up. Protecting the puck is looking pretty similar to last year. It looks like it's going to be good in the corners as you hold out that puck with one hand on your stick. You can use that other hand and then with the new stick physics, if they go for a stick lift or if they go for a poke check, you can actually use that hand and block them to the side. And lastly, one of the more frequent goals that we saw in this gameplay is the tip and the deflection. So in front of the net, especially if you have those X Factor players that are built to get these deflections, you're gonna be scoring a lot of goals that way it looks like. So they'll bat the puck downwards to get more of a tip or upwards depending on where it is if they want to go low if they want to go high i don't know if that's going to be aimable so if we're playing eshl and i'm sitting in front of the net can i decide where those deflections are going to go it's tough to tell but certainly it does look better 
than last year and a lot of goals are being scored too one of the biggest complaints about the nhl franchise as a whole is the player differentiation it feels like you can't tell the difference between Connor mcdavid out there and a fourth line grinder well this is something it looks like they're really trying to address here in nhl 22 so of course we have x factors which we dove into in previous videos if you haven't seen that go and check it out different abilities different situations will make those top of the top players seem even better than they already are but in this gameplay we can see a couple good situations of mcdavid finally looking like mcdavid he's bursting up the middle you can see his x factor pops up a combination of the ratings the x factor all that coming together to finally give him a well-deserved breakaway. It is kind of a tough balance for EA. How much do you want these X factors to actually impact the game? There is a clip of Austin Matthews going for his toe drag shot and it does go wide. So it doesn't look like it's gonna be completely overpowered, but I still want them to be effective, but you don't want them to break the game. It is a very tough balance, but from what we can see in this gameplay, looking decent, but uh, that remains to be seen. Last but definitely not least, probably the most important part of the actual gameplay, and that is how the goals are scored. So what I'm gonna do during this section is I'm just gonna toss up all of the different goals that we saw throughout this 27 minute video and i want you guys to be the judge i mean it's hard to be worse than last year where literally 90 percent of goals were cross creases being forced through the middle but at least in this video of course it is handpicked by ea we do see some dangles we see some snipes there's some low rebound shots lots of deflections goals like i mentioned earlier but a good variety nonetheless and when we're talking about hockey i mean that's how it is right a variety of goals should be going in you shouldn't have to resort to one play over and over again and from what we saw in this video it looks decent but again i want you guys to be the judge let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the variety of goals being scored also let me know what you think about the gameplay in general do you love it do you hate it looking forward to it looks the same as nhl 21 whatever you think let me know down there that will about sum up what i saw here in this 27 minute uncut gameplay if you guys do want to go see the full video I'll toss the link in the description below. They did a full Q&A. No Sleeves and Henrique were on here talking to some of the devs. So go and check that out. If you did find this video helpful, let me know by hitting it with a like. Of course, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the NHL 22 news. We're on that road to 1 million subscribers. Lots of NHL 22 content coming soon. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.